Okay, so we wanted to talk to you about my favorite room in the whole house. Mm, yeah. The bathroom. Um, and not in the way you're thinking. <laughs> that does sound bad, doesn't it? Yeah. It's my favorite room in the house. <laughs> um, the reason this is my favorite room is because I got a bathtub. Yeah. You have been wanting a bathtub for a long time. The entire time we've been married, I've been wanting a bathtub. <laughs> yeah. We actually plumbed it in at the old house. We plumbed, plumbed it over from the main yeah. plumbing in in hopes that we would get a bathtub one day. <laughs> but we didn't. Yeah. We never did. We um, spent a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In our bathroom more than we anticipated, but it is my favorite room and it's just beautiful and perfect and I just love it so much. It's just everything I wanted it to be. So, um, do you want to talk about the how we switched everything, all the fixtures around and stuff? Yeah. So, we basically just moved all the plumbing, except for the shower. The shower, the shower stayed where it was. Um, but we moved the toilet over and shortened the, the vanity so that we could make room for your bathtub. Yeah, and... It's basically moved all the plumbing. Yes, so that was major. super easy though. I know, it does sound easy for people that don't know what's involved in that, or people that yeah. hire people to do that, but we did all yeah. the work ourselves, or he did all the work, and I just assisted. Yeah. So our vanity, start with the vanity, we... Um, I found it on Facebook Marketplace and it was a sideboard table. So it was like a buffet looking thing. Um, it did not have any cabinets. It had three three drawers. Yeah, three drawers, but no cabinets. So it was on um, legs and it was beautiful and old looking. And I knew I wanted um, our sink in that. Like, I, I thought it would be really pretty and antique looking to have our sink put into that. So, we got a, a rectangle vessel sink, and um, I believe we got that from Home Depot, didn't we? And put that, um, you know, that sounds easy too. We'll just put it on the thing, yeah. and um, it yeah. works. Yeah. <laughs> but, so those kinds of things you just have to make make work because it's not what it's made for. It's not made for a bathroom vanity. So you just drill a few holes, measure three times, was, and cut once. That was a little <laughs> nerve wracking yeah. when you were drilling the hole yeah. for the sink because I'm like this beautiful table. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get one shot on those kinds of things. Yeah. Make sure it's right, which I'm not very good at. Measure one to cut four times. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was going to say that too. Like, I mean, he did pretty much. I mean, his dad helped, he assisted, and he like kind of mm -hmm. guided. His dad is a good guide for yeah, things. Yeah, if it wasn't for my dad, I couldn't do it because. Right. His dad's been doing it his whole life. He's a pretty craftsman, much. and I'm, I'm a helper. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean the the bathroom was pretty much his I mean pretty much the house has been your responsibility but your dad has been a great guide and consult so yeah. um, but but this was Adam's thing and so I mean pretty much the whole bathroom is tiled you know and you hate tile yeah and that's probably the hardest thing yeah because it just took forever I remember that last night I was up to like 3 a.m. I went to bed. Put I could towel up. I'm like, I'm not putting towel up another day. Another day. <laughs> he was done. Yeah. Like I went to bed at like midnight. And I'm yeah. like, honey, don't you want to go to bed? Because I knew he was getting tired, yeah. and and he was like, I'm not doing this another day. So, yeah. um, it was done in the morning. But but what I was gonna say is like I just love that even even with mess ups and imperfections, like I love that you did it and yeah. that it's something that I'm gonna treasure because you did these things with your your hands and we didn't pay anybody to do it mm -hmm. and um and so i love that part yeah, i learned about a lot i was able to learn a few a few skills that i didn't know after i messed up of course you know, yeah like, well, if i had to do this over i would remember it now because i messed up right it's just the best mm -hmm. learning tool yeah that's right <laughs> the mirror for the vanity 
um, actually came from a relative of mine, their house. Um, and so that's pretty special just to have that. Uh, and it's an antique, an old antique mirror that went with a, um, like a dressing table, like a makeup table. Uh, I'm not really sure. I guess it's a vanity. I'm not really sure what, what it would have been called a long time ago, but a, um, and it's just beautiful. Um, we got light fixtures from Amazon. Um, we did a whole wall of shiplap, uh, faux shiplap, and, yep. and that was our first time ever doing that, and that turned out really, really well. Yeah, it was super easy. I'm surprised how easy that was. Easy and cheap, yeah. and it looks really good in there. Um, so we just did one accent wall. Yeah, we were concerned with the, the moisture content of the room, but I haven't, I think we've noticed by now if it was going to be a problem. Yeah. Because we used the quarter inch uh, plywood for the ship wrap and cut it into six inch strips. And uh, yeah, looks, it still looks good. It does look good. I liked how the nails looked in it. So we didn't, he filled a few holes, but we really just left it kind of rustic looking and I like it like that. Um, our bathtub came from Home Depot and it's just, I just love it so much um, and I'm gonna link all of the products that we bought for the bathroom I'm gonna link them all in the description so you guys can check those out too and, and see what the exact items are that we used um, but it is like a Roman tub it just sits on the floor um, it's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be but it's pretty light. it is light um, yeah. but I love it. I take at least one bath a day. Yeah. Sometimes two. Sometimes three. Yeah. So, um, and the kids always fight me for the bathtub, but I'm like, no, this is my bathtub. Have I used it yet? I think I used it once. <laughs> I don't know. Just to try Have it you? out. I think so. I think you did. Yeah. How'd you like it? I, I You're not a bath won't, person. I won't use it again, probably. <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Um, our chandelier. Came from Home Depot. We do a lot of Home Depot in our bathroom. What was the problem with that? It was missing pieces the first time. The, fir the first chandelier? Yeah. The same one, but it was. I got it out and it was missing pieces. Really yeah, bad. that was weird. So I had to take it back and just switched it out and the other one was fine. Yeah. So, I think. Wasn't that, mm -hmm. wasn't that what we did? Um, Stuff like that is stressful to me because I have a plan. Like, yes. we're going to do this today. We're going to get this done. Yeah, let's change gears real quick. Yeah, um, yeah. and then um, we got some pictures on the wall that uh, I actually took um, when we were in Canada many, many, many years ago. Me and my family, uh, Prince Edward Island. I'm, I'm a huge Anna Green Gables fan, Road to Avonlea fan, and we took a vacation there. And so I took the pictures that you'll see on the wall. Um, are actually taken on the island so that's kind of special I like seeing those when I look up there um, the shower used to be a what was it fiberglass. a fiberglass shower like a tub and shower combo yeah and um, which is like standard I mean a lot of people have those mm -hmm. and, and this one was in here for 30 years yeah. I guess started and, cracking base started cracking yeah bit. it was not in good shape at all so it yeah. was leaking already and stuff so um it needed to be replaced and we wanted a tile shower anyway so we had already tiled the back the girls bathroom shower um and we used a white subway tile from lowe's and it it i loved it i love the subway tile like that it just looks so clean and so classy. I just love it. So we did that for our shower as well and used a black grout this time. For the girls' bathroom, we used a, like a dark gray or well, it was kind of a light gray actually. Um, and black grout and it looks beautiful. We got black um, fixtures for the shower, the, the handle and the, um, the door. There's a glass sliding glass door. So widen the doorway. Yeah. A two foot door, a two foot door there originally. So, yeah, it was a pretty skinny door, and I didn't realize that mm -hmm. until yeah started messing. With it. 
So one of these days we'll, you know, we might need a handicap. You know, might be handicapped soon. You have to think about when you're spending this much money Hello. on your house. You have to think like, I'm never going to do this again yeah. in this capacity. We might change colors and things like that, but it's like you know you have to think about the structure of things yeah. now for when you get older. Yeah. So. And those are the kinds of things my dad really helped with. Like, yeah. I would have a hard time figuring out how to make that work. Yeah taken out because the the doors are supported above them with a header and it's only as wide as the original door and so you have to figure out how to make it wide as the new door right to, to support the weight of the, the house basically over the door yes so anyway we made the door wider yeah and oh my most hated thing my t most hated task oh, in the yeah. entire bathroom was those doggone ceilings. Like, I, we have popcorn ceiling in there. Well, we had it all over the whole house. That's, we know, we know very well how to scrape a ceiling at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but if you've ever done it, you know it's like the most low task of remodeling. And um, that seems to be always my job. So, um, <laughs> I can handle it, I mean, but it's really messy and it's really aggravating. Yeah. And ceilings are just aggravating anyways because it's awkward and it's really hard to, um, to to do for a long amount of time because your arms just get so tired. Yeah. But um, that ceiling in particular was aggravating because I had forgotten to prime it, I think. I think was the problem. We were using a ceiling, um, it was supposed to be a paint plus primer, but we should have primed it first with some real primer um, and then use that stuff on it. So um, so every time that I would go over um, any part of the ceiling basically, but there were a few hot spots, it would peel. It would just peel every time. And so like the sheet rocks started coming mm -hmm. off. Yeah. And uh, so Adam had to go behind me like every time. I think I painted the ceiling like four times. Mm -hmm. I'm I still re re scraped it a few times. <laughs> I'm still mad about it. Yeah. I was traumatized by the ceiling. Yeah. You had decided to just leave it. I said it's going to look really rustic, like yeah. the ceiling's going to cave in, yeah. and that's fine. I'm, <coughs> I'm totally okay with that because this is looking like a Roman bath, anyways. And so I was like, if it's, you know, kind of. If it's falling on your head while you're taking a bath. It's okay because it's like the, you know the effect I wanted to go for with my bathroom anyway so but he would not allow that because we had worked too hard on this bathroom and he wanted it to look nice yeah so then I primed it and, all, and everything went okay so he did, he did it right <laughs> <laughs> anyways it's hard to start over when you when you feel like you finished something you know yes you're putting finished paint on a ceiling you don't you don't think like man I'm gonna have to start over but anyway, that's what we had to do. Yeah. Start over. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so anyway. Enough of that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, so done. Um, what else did you do? The floor tile is all tile. Mm-hmm. Before it was um, like linoleum. linoleum type, like tile. Yeah. Something. Square tiles. Mm -hmm. And um. This is like a um, chicken, wire. chicken wire, yeah, very small chicken wire mm -hmm. tile um, that came in sheets. So that was fairly easy. I, I say that because I didn't do it, but that was fairly easy to put down, I it guess. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. Because they're so little. Yeah, too. you'd think being in a sheet, it would be, you could line them up easily. Yeah. It was, that wasn't the case. Right. I kept having to compensate for it turned a little bit the wrong way or something yeah most of our decor in the room is from Hobby Lobby the the makeup tray on the vanity is from Hobby Lobby the um, scales that I have on the vanity are from Hobby Lobby and the shelving above the toilet is from Hobby Lobby as well um, Oh, and your blinds. You made those blinds. 
yes, the shade, the Roman shade, my friend Meredith helped me make the shade. And that was just a DIY project from some, um, some mini blinds, some cheap mini blinds. You can make your own Roman shade and not spend hundreds of dollars on Roman shades. Uh, and I plan to do that for the rest of the house also, but haven't, haven't yet. Um, the beautiful picture on the shelf is from my friend Nicole at Gloriously Restores. You'll have to check her site out. I'll link her in the description also. She does beautiful hand-painted signs. Um, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed walking through our bathroom, my favorite room, with us. And um, maybe it has inspired you, hopefully, to make your own home uh, the way that you want it, the way that you feel will um, bring the most peace and, um, and beauty to your home. And yeah, don't be afraid of it. I mean, it's hard. <laughs> but, um, and it's expensive, even if you do it yourself. I can't imagine what this house would have cost if we would have had to pay somebody to do it. So if you're prepared to do that, then go for it. But I think, I just think this house feels like home now because we did the work ourselves. And, um, yeah. Yep. So. Let me fix my hair, sort of. I'm a top notch here. Like my signature top notch. We look leave. yellow. We look really yellow. How's okay. that? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You ready? Mm hmm. I'm ready. Gosh, this is not right. <laughs> um. So the mirror for the vanity. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> 